So yesterday we discussed position hierarchy. We have position hierarchy as a part of approvals. That should be discussed different document types. We have requisition, purchase orders. The question is, what are the different types of POs? Then your answer should be four POs. There are four PO types. So when the answer is like when the question is document types, your requisition is also document type. Purchase order is also document type. Means purchase order, four types of purchase orders. All those purchase orders are coming in document types. So you have, you have quotations, RFQs, all these are. We have sourcing documents like when you go for auto sourcing. I'm going to show you. It's very important because it is advanced version of purchasing. Simple purchasing, it is by using standard purchase order. When you go for sourcing, sourcing documents are three only. One is blanket, another one is contract, next one is quotation. Your sourcing document, what are the sourcing documents? Have you worked on sourcing? Sourcing is nothing but from where you are getting the items. That means procurement. We are talking about procurement only. Procurement is nothing but sourcing. When you enable sourcing, it should have certain things very important. Today we are going to discuss what is that source sourcing and what are the different purchase order types and how we are going to use blanket and contract quotation. We know quotation is nothing but is a confirmation from the supplier about the items and what is the item and what is the quantity and for this quantity how much is the what is the price for this much quantity what is the price that confirmation will be given by the supplier by quotations when you receive the quotations when you receive the quotations from the supplier by means of courier or email or fax whatever it may be then you are going to feed the same quotation into the system because your quotation is a document type and you have to save it for further reference because in future if you want to buy the same item again you have to refer your catalogs what is catalog catalog is nothing but all the negotiation sources like your request for quotations your quotations what are the negotiations you had with the different suppliers everything will be tracked in a catalog catalog is nothing but booklet so it's a kind of menu where everything will be mentioned everything will be saved and tracked so whenever it is required you can refer to catalog to get all the information now we have quotations a simple purchasing process we already discussed it is simple there is a requisition a requisition will be converted as request for quotation in the process of negotiation request for quotation will be sent to multiple suppliers so those multiple suppliers in turn they give the quotations and what are the quotations you received you are going to confirm in the system you are going to confirm the quotations and you are going to compare all those quotations once you confirmed all the quotations from the suppliers when you compare that is called quote analysis you do the quote analysis to decide the best supplier so once you decide the best supplier you buy the item from the supplier when you buy the item from the supplier you would require a document what is that that is purchase order so your purchase order should be created from the requisition after getting the confirmation of the supplier supplier you are going to decide from the catalogs that is called supplier item catalog supplier item catalog is nothing but all the negotiation sources sources will be saved what is the what is the negotiation source is rfq 
and quotation these are the documents we are going to save as catalogs and whenever you would require to buy the item from the supplier you are going to refer the catalog and you are going to decide the best supplier when you decide the best supplier then the purchase order you have to make you have to prepare in which you have to select the supplier with all the information of shipments then distributions then you are going to approve the document then you receive the item and store in the inventory but let us see what we did what we received of course i have shown you the document can be approved purchase order once it is approved how to receive the item that's what i have to show now let me go to the system it is oracle applications now let me open the file that we worked yesterday and day before yesterday now we have these are the details we made like different pivots let us see what are the pivots have been created and approved day before yesterday or yesterday let us switch on to purchasing when you switch on to purchasing in the purchasing module we have purchase order summary whenever you want to inquire about some past purchases you have to go for your purchase order summary then enter the purchase order number then find and you can see whether i received this item against this purchase order or not you can see the information whether it has been billed or not everything can be seen see the po number is this but i don't want to enter the po number i want to search all the pos which have been created yesterday and day before yesterday whatever it may be let us see that date ranges we have date ranges here first clear then date ranges order has been created by from 31st or from 25th let us see from 25th to today i want to find what are the orders created So these are all the orders created now see this is the purchase order number revision what is revision see purchase order is controlled by revisions it's a very important question what is purchase revisions the revision is nothing but you created a purchase order with a number and you got the approval due to some reason some changes happened in the po that you would like to change in the po and later you can take the print and again you are going to send to supplier in this process the approved po you are opening and you are changing something when you change and save again it would require re approval see if i say these are all okay third one is approved this is an incomplete this is approved okay let me take approved one third one let me open when you open this pivo see the quantity is 26 i want to change it to 500 okay not 500 is too much okay 100 see status is approved okay now i am changing save the record see when i save the record you are creating a new document revision have you seen this if you the revision is controlled purchase order number is there whatever the number got created here that is nothing but revision number 
that revision number meant for tracking the purchase order how many times you changed click ok now after getting approval like see the status now requires reapproval somebody asks what is requires reapproval status that means after approval you have changed something again it has created revision number instead of zero it is now one that means one time you have changed now get the approval again before approval this quantity is 100 we have to make sure all the shipments quantity is also 100 but it is not 100 26 only so remaining 74 i have to receive at another organization so let us say i want to receive at Worcester. save the record Okay, now in the distributions, okay, we got it because all the quantities together should be matched with the shipment quantity and all the shipment quantity should be matched with line quantity. This is what the validation you should follow. Then not only this, in the shipments, we discussed this match approval levels invoice match options then receiving controls here we have receipt routing direct inspection required none and standard receipt we discuss what is standard what is inspection what is direct okay direct means PO has been approved you can make a payment PO quantity can be matched with invoice quantity if it is standard it is three way that means PO should be there PO should be approved then you have to make a receipt receipt means that's the document you are making as a proof saying that you am going to receive this much quantity how much quantity you have received you make a receipt against that receipt against that quantity only you can raise an invoice and you can pay to supply that means pure quantity is there how much quantity you received for received quantity only you make a payment that is the reason three way that is three quantities so we call it a standard receipt inspection required PO has been approved PO quantity is something but you received let us say here in this example 100 items we entered now we received only 50 you make a you made a receipt for 50 does it mean that you accepted no you inspected and you found some items are damaged so you return those items before receiving itself so then you received only 30 out of 50 receipt is for 50 but you accepted only 30 after inspection that inspection is called inspection required when you have inspection required this is called four way the four way is nothing but pure quantity a receipt quantity inspected quantity then what are the by inspection you are going to accept it right or reject it so we are not least bothered about reject anyway we are not going to pay against to reject rejection now we are accepting some quantities you are accepting out of 50 receipt is made for 50 but you accepted 20 so your invoice should be for 20 so that is the reason it is called four way four way means pure quantity receipt quantity accepted quantity and invoice quantity should be matched with accepted quantity okay this is one concern you have to make sure three way and here invoice match option whether are you going to match with a receipt or po so earlier it was po so let me make it as a receipt click save saved when you save requires reapproval there is a revision number and click on approve when you approve It is asking submit for approval click ok simply the PO number is 16882 16882 PO number is 16882 okay I approved okay but the status has been not changed let us see 
what happened to this purchase order summary clear then enter the order number find when you find you can see request means something has gone wrong means maybe our limits might be wrong let us see why it is not getting approved okay now if i open it's not approved as long as it is not approved you cannot receive the item so what is the wrong let us see let me go to hrms because i am debugging like i am drilling down to the issue like i got the issue why this document is not getting approved i am drilling down to issue and i am trying to resolve the issue let me go to hrms first let me see my definition of employee go to hrms we discussed all these things yesterday and day before yesterday so here we have people and enter and maintain and as an employee i have to i have to see my employee definition search for employee okay now go to assignments oh there is no position so there is no position in the sense okay what is the position let me open my hierarchies i want to assign my top position like let me take this position okay top position or can i take this position no oh, okay so what position is there let us see i will take some position okay these are all the positions fine any erp position is there yeah it is there the erp programmer okay update fine i have taken this position I have taken this position name. Let me track. Copy this. My position name is this ERP programmer. saved close it <laughs> saved what is next go to purchasing i have to send the limit go to setup approval groups approval groups meant for limits i know and what is the group assigned to top position let me see we know the top position right for this top position might be having i might be this top position might be having high limit so i want to assign that high limit so that i do not require any hierarchy so i can approve what of the document i prepare so so that i can save the time otherwise it will go to here and next level next i have to log in by this user i have to log in by this user and i have to approve now first let me see what is the approval limit of this position okay this is right we okay, copy this finance pass through then that finance pass through is nothing but approval group so find that finance pass through this is having a limit of one 
hundred thousand dollars fine i want this limit i want to assign this to my position my position is is this i want to assign this approval group my position is this let us copy and paste it so there is no document type under approval group that is the reason we are unable to approve because being my, my name is Mano, so being Manos, I am preparing, I am trying to create a purchase order, I am trying to approve, but I am having I am having the employee definition, but there is no position assigned to my employee definition. So I assign now, but the, for that position, there is no limit of approval. So I am assigning limit of approval by taking the approval group now. But here, what kind of document types can I approve? That's what I have to select one by one. So I want to select purchase agreements, then approval group is this one, so not this one. This one is the approval group, okay? Find that, click OK. Next, what are the, what are the document types I can approve? Everything I am going to select. I'm going to select one by one document contract also here also then internal requisition then limit is the same again sorry next one next plant purchase orders Schedule religious standard purchase orders save the record. Okay, you have purchase requisition. We have not added. We have to add this. Save the record. Done. Then <coughs> This position has been incorporated, but we know the hierarchy, right? Top position, next position. Let us see this hierarchy, whether I am existing or not. My position, I know that. My position is this. Whether this position is existing in this hierarchy, let us see. Next, I am going for hierarchy. Go to setup, personal, position hierarchy. F11 My hierarchy name is my hierarchy name is this Control F11 Then we have to come from top position, right? This is the top position query F11 give the name control F11 It is having hierarchy fine. This is VP that is vice president Press down arrow, you can see supply chain manager. Press down arrow, you have the buyer. Now I'm going to add myself, my position name here, programmer. That's it. My name has come. Save the record. That means I'm also existing in hierarchy now. But will it be effective? No. Until and unless you run the concurrent request. What should I do now? I have to run the concurrent request. What is the first request? Fill employee hierarchy. Submit new request. Click OK. Fill employee hierarchy. Submit. Default parameters. Submit another request. Yes. Send notification. Next one is send notification for the PO purchase related documents. Select. Submit. Default parameters. No. To submit. Two requests have been submitted. Those might be running. Okay, one is completed. Next one is running. Let it run. Switch responsibility. The third one is synchronize workflow local tables from system administrator. So I'm going there. View request. Submit new request. Click OK. 
The report name is Synchronized Workflow Local Tables. Submit with default parameters. No, that's it. Fine. Refresh. This request might be. Once it is all the, all the requests have been completed, the first request will employ hierarchy and notification for purchase doc, purchasing documents. Synchronize workflow local tables. These are the three requests you have to run. Now I will try to approve this PO. What is the PO number? This is the PO number, right? Copy this PO number. Open the PO now. Go to purchasing. Switch responsibility to the purchasing. Now purchase order summary. The purchase order summary then clear enter the purchase order number sorry this is operating in it okay then fine got it open it requires reapproval reapproval right when requires reapproval you can open it's incomplete you can open it's approved you can open in case you have the access for purchasing responsibility and you are a buyer you can definitely open the purchase order so what is the necessary what is the qualification to work on purchasing purchase order you should be a buyer this is entry question this is the basic question very basic question saying that what you should be what you should be for accessing purchase order you should be a buyer so requires reapproval click on approve Click OK. One six Is it approved? That's what. That is how you have to resolve the issues. <clears throat> okay, now it is approved. Further, I have to receive this item. Let us see how to receive. Take this PO number. At any point of time, see for this PO you have while opening while opening you can directly go to headers lines or sh shipments or distributions in the shipments we will come to know whether these items these items are received or not or built or not or in case you returned how many have been returned how many have been rejected how many have been accepted all these things you can see from shipments okay this is having two shipments so it is showing now and we selected in the shipments two or two different organizations one is dropship organization another one is booster discrete discrete organization so here you can see what is the quantity due what is the quantity i requested see so what is the quantity due and quantity received zero accepted zero rejected zero build zero and quantity cancelled zero supply currency buyer okay that's it now close this take this PO number. Now I am going to receive. Whenever you are receiving, who will receive? Store guys, right? So I have to go to store. What is store? Inventory. Switch responsibility to inventory. Okay. Switch responsibility to inventory. Then transactions where I am receiving. I selected two organizations. One is DSO drop shipment organization. The next one is the next one is booster discrete. So go to receiving receipts. 
first i am going to receive a booster clear purchase order number operating unit you have to select purchase order number this is one you have to remember why it is showing operating unit here i am receiving i am receiving into the store store comes under inventory organization your inventory organization comes under warehouse that is warehouse means inventory organization if you call warehouse or inventory organization both are same but purchasing at operating unit level that is the reason you are buying for two different organizations if it is at organization level how can you buy for different two organizations you will buy for your organization only right it's not at inventory organization level you are selecting in the shipments to inventory organizations very important question purchasing at operating unit level or inventory organization level it is inventory organization level if it is inventory organization level then you can buy for your inventory as it is operating unit level you can buy for any number of inventory organizations okay which are coming under the same operating unit right that's what you have to remember click find this is called receipt header okay so receipt header is nothing but oh glp rates are not open let me open glp rates after that i will come back here how to open the period this is one more issue this is support issue like periods issues and and we have seen the important issues like purchasing position hierarchy issue like you are trying to approve the document and document is not getting approved so you have to resolve the issues with approval hierarchy for that what is the procedure i have shown you similarly here we got another issue that is periods are not open please enter the date which is in the open periods that is what the message i got it so i am going to open the periods for all the inventory purchasing and gl periods how to open let us see first inventory accounting close side inventory accounting periods now here we have june this is june so i have to open this change status open save it done okay june is open now go to purchasing i have to open purchasing periods what is the navigation for periods if you don't know the period don't waste your time simply control l search for period open close periods and control purchasing periods both should be open okay first control purchasing periods it might have opened don't see around here you, you have to see the html form that is already open this is what okay which period you are looking for i am looking for 15 yes i am looking for 15 2015 what is the month june right so the period status which is not open i want to open the period that is never opened okay see so you can see the status is never open closed means of course past months past periods okay now i want to search the one which is future go never open it's not future never open okay june 15 is not open so i want to open this change it save it over if you want to open july also never you don't open you want to open future periods but if you want to open for this is practice instance so you can you can reopen you can open but i don't want to do now done now go for we have two types of right control l periods again first one i opened already open close periods now the period name is june right june i want to find june 15 fine it's not open so 
open period target period is up to June 2015 open are you sure you want to open yes then now close this purchasing periods are open now go to GL general ledger general ledger super user here also we have go to setup if you, if you see somewhere open and close this is nothing but periods of general ledger the period is I want June 2015 so it is open no issues so general ledger periods are open inventory periods are open purchasing periods are open now let us receive this purchase order copy this purchase order let us find go to we are receiving the item from inventory right so i'm going to inventory so transactions receiving receipts first one is receipts next we have to do receiving transactions so go to receipts where we have selected two organizations in the shipments if you select other organizations you can't find that purchase receiving so either i can go for this one or dso both the organizations i have selected in the shipments so i have to be careful here i can go to booster clear i know the operating unit you have to enter purchase order number is this find you will get the this is what header form this is what called as this is what is called as header it is going to generate receipt number you have to track this number now the lines see 74 i entered 100 items first one is first shipment is having 26 26 items second line is having 74 you can see only 74 why because you entered into host w o o is the organization you have selected in the shipments for the second line so here at you can see the organization name here okay select this okay why you are getting destination type as inventory that means you have destination types are two types one is receiving another one is inventory receiving means it is in transit we have not yet received but you have created a document and you are about to receive the items are in transit what is in transit items are on the way but not yet physically we have not received we are making what are the shipment what are the shipment notice has been given from the supplier over the phone or email or whatever the communication by means of any communication you are about to prepare a document the document is received but again is that receipt you are after receiving the items physically you are going to check out you are checking you are checking those items and you are as per the receipt whether i received all the items or some of the items we have to check it out so in this process destination type i have to keep all these items in my store that is the reason your destination should be inventory till your destination is inventory items are set to be in transit it's very important question what is in transit so in transit means items are on the way we have not yet received the item fully okay destination type is inventory sometimes we can see receiving what does it mean receiving means that is for tracking purpose it is in transit when it is inventory that means it is this transaction is called delivery to inventory the destination type is inventory then it is called as delivery to inventory in case it is receiving it is said to be in transit okay now item description you are delivering the item to storeroom but you are going to keep in a sub inventory right storeroom means what your inventory organization and within the organization you have many sub inventories but in which sub inventory you are going to keep and within the sub inventory you have locator also which locator you are going to we are going to mention here so which sub inventory under the sub inventory what is the locator we are going to keep so let me select the sub inventory as let me take i am 
okay i am keeping the item in rcv receiving okay when i press tab it is asking locate in which locator we are going to put these items search for the combinations which are existing for locators rcv is the locator that's it i am going to save the record when you save the record you will get a receipt number at header that receipt number is very important why because that is the document against which as per your receipt routing it is standard then you are going to make a payment invoice against this receipt only done click on header see this is receipt number has been generated track this this is the PO number this is the PO receipt number receipt number is this now close this this is done see we made only receipt next step is receiving transaction in case you made the receipt with a destination type as receiving then you should do this also let us see now against this, this receipt number 10750 let us see whether it is existing for receiving or not select the operating unit after clicking clear receipt number is this or you can enter by PO also in case PO is having only one receipt no issues either you can go for PO number or receipt number in case PO is having multiple receipt numbers and we against which receipt number you are going to receive the item you have to enter only that receipt number here I entered this receipt fine nothing is there why your destination type already you have selected as inventory the moment you saved the item has gone to your sub inventory and in their respective locators then if you check the quantity 74 items might have increased in the inventory that's it now i am switching over to another organization why i have two shipments right that one is dso that one is dso this is the one drop ship so that is the organization name okay uh, we have given this because these guys are having another branch their own branch only they are keeping they are keeping as a distribution center and when they manufacture different items they keep some stock at dso if any customer nearby comes he he question he asks he asks the item to woo but woo organization will ask dso organization that is also our internal organization only just like woo now this dso will ship the item because already stock is available so that is what we ask booster will ask dso to ship the item to customer directly from dso that is what drop shipment we will discuss in order management now we change the organization dso right okay now opening receipts clear operating in it my PO number is this is the PO number fine enter fine see I got the header but no number I'm going to save it but see i selected this 26 plus 74 total 100 out of 26 this is see destination type is inventory because it is two way i know that you have selected two way and three way for these two organizations if you would have selected four way then you have to do receiving transaction inspection everything you have to do okay now which sub inventory i am receiving to rcv oh for it is drop ship. it is another organization rcv is not there so at drop ship that's it save the record jail period is not open for this organization so it was it won't let you know let us open the period period for this organization as well 
June is not open. Change the status. Click OK. Save the cat. Then switch over to purchasing. Let me open the periods. Control L. Control purchasing periods. And never open. Go. I want to. Okay, I want to find 15, June 15, right? June 15. Delete 15. Oh, it is opened already. June 15 is I already open. Okay, close this. Next one is. Open close periods. I'm opening the period June 2015 fine it's also open GL periods switch responsibility to general ledger setup slow down like scroll down then period it is June 15 okay fine it's also open why then why it is not as this is not it is asking okay so let me go to inventory back to inventory I am receiving against this receipt oh I didn't okay the POI number is this transactions receiving receipt I am making organization is this Oh, this is logical receiving. Now, fine. Save the record. You have to enter sub inventory. Okay, save the record. Can you see a routing name direct delivery that's it done transaction applied saved if you see the header you will get a receipt number this is the receipt number for dso organization the receipt number is this is the receipt number fine close it i told you in case it is not direct or receiving transaction is required then you already have to go here then clear select your organization operating in it then receipt number is this nothing is there why because your destination type is inventory that means item quality might have increased okay apart from that we have in the purchasing the advanced version of purchasing in which we have supply base supply base it's very important we have workbench here buyer work center these are all re release 12 functionalities so in release 12 release 11 we don't have this we are we are not having these functionalities so some buyer workbench has been added okay like what are the negotiations you want to see what are the suppliers and what are the requests what are the deliverables what are the agreements what is everything you can see supplier item catalog is the one what are the quote request for quotations you created what are the quotations you have created that is going to be saved here whenever you open this for one particular item in case you take one item that the item is let us take uh, take this item okay okay for this item if it is purchased item let us see clear here the item number is this for this item is any catalog let us see nothing it is manufactured item i know that let me take another item this is the item like oh, this is manufactured item 
so any purchased item let me take clear the item is 101 let me take fine this is also manufactured item okay take another item pd41 okay let me search first okay we have all this fine this also not having find oh these are all manufactured items so it's simple like if you find okay without entering item if you find it takes time that is the reason I'm not entering so <clears throat> it will show you all the items for which items you raise it request for quotations or quotations which have been approved from different suppliers so all the information will be shown have you seen here supplier item catalog is very important in which we have four tabs one is negotiated negotiated sources then prior purchases sourcing rules then requisition templates <clears throat> so except you know these are very commonly used negotiation sources and prior purchases means earlier you might have raised any purchase order for this item you will get the price from that purchase order and that supplier will be there in the purchase order so directly you can buy it from the particular supplier that is that information is coming from prior purchases but negotiation sources are nothing but your request for quotation and quotation and what is the best so that you can compare in the first tab we have all the items this is the item and might have produced it from different suppliers all the information will be here this is the supplier this is another supplier this is another supplier so the same item will be procured from different suppliers all the information will be available you can scroll down or you can export to excel and you can compare if you click first field whenever you are exporting you have to click on first field you export it i want only 100 stop if you want all then continue to end export for 110 records yes save open see these are the items these are the suppliers these are the items so we purchased with a line price of this is the price you can compare whatever is the last less price you can confirm that supplier simply so here you have to catch the point that is negotiation sources is nothing but the price is coming from RFQ and quotations will be stored here then prior purchases any purchases you raised for this item then within that purchase order what is the price with what price you purchase and why is who is the supplier then definitely that information will be coming from prior purchases it is nothing but a kind of catalog that is the reason we call we call it as supplier item catalog then sourcing rule is very important the sourcing rule is very complicated one especially you use for auto sourcing and to simplify the process of purchasing sourcing rule the name itself is indicating I am keeping a rule to be followed to procure the item from different suppliers or certain supplier to enforce certain rule to enforce certain rule what is that rule let us see see here prior purchases means we purchase from different on this date and from the supplier the same item I bought it for this much so like that we have how much quantity for 2000 quantity this is the price 20 item 26 item 26 quantities we have this much price like that we have for different items it is so don't be confused items are different here okay items are different this item is different this item is different so this is all but sourcing rule I'm telling you 
sourcing rule is nothing but a rule to be followed to procure certain item means company is building certain rules if you being a buyer if you want to buy if you want to buy an item this item should be purchased from only this supplier because this supplier sends quality products and there is a contract with them every item should be bought from this supplier so when you are really having contract purchase agreement that is different when you are really having a blanket purchase agreement that is different but when you are having standard purchase order at the same time you are incorporating certain rules to be followed whenever you go for buying then those rules will be defined in the sourcing rules where you are going to incorporate all the conditions and you will make sure whenever i'm buying whenever buyer buys the item for a company system make sure he is going to follow those rules if he is not following system stops you it won't let you to go ahead to buy with any supply sourcing rule means which is enforcing us to buy from only the supplier who has been mentioned in the sourcing rule and those suppliers normally called as approved supplier lists approved who is approved supplier i'm going to show you it is taking time here to switch over to this tab the sourcing rules are very important have you worked on sourcing rules use tell them say yes i did so sourcing rules it's very simple there are certain predefined conditions or rules whenever you go for purchasing for certain items certain items to be procured from the certain suppliers only see this item should be bought from this supplier only this side and there is a rule what is this rule we are going to show you okay let me export it okay sourcing rules export it i want only enough 100 enough to stop yes one at four records okay now save it open yes so these are the items for which certain rules we will see what is this rule how this supplier became a supplier for this item let us see now close this i hope you understood what is supplier item catalog then now i am going to supply base it is very important because everything related to supplier will be under supply base only supplier will be defined by ap people that is account payables not on the place okay account payables so it is suppliers supplier match we have supplier in case you have duplicate suppliers you are going you are going to match the supplier names otherwise in the list of values it will show you two different names but representing the same supplier so whenever you find something duplicate and you are going to match it and that is the functionality and there is approved supplier list and supply list supplier list you can make all the suppliers in one list means what what is the use adding all the suppliers in one list there is no use you are defining all the suppliers in the supplier means you have prepared the list of all the suppliers but what is supplier list supplier list is grouping the suppliers based on the category means what if i am buying asian paint or something else again another paint so we have different paint companies so we can say whoever is supplying paints i can say paint suppliers whoever is automotive manufacturers like Te mahindra tata okay all these companies i can put in automotive suppliers so similar it it vendors wipro infosys tech mahindra all these companies i can put it as vendors all the suppliers will be coming and you will give it the name it companies or 
chemical companies or paint companies so all these are nothing but and you are giving a list name and under the name you are adding multiple suppliers that's what supplier list but approved supplier list certain items you are going to restrict this item whenever you want to buy you have to buy from only this supplier you should not use any more suppliers that is the restriction at item in case you are defining the item that particular item in the purchasing tab we have use approved supplier list if you enable that you cannot buy that item from the supplier that is that supplier who is existing in supplier list but you can buy the item from approved supplier list the list which is having one supplier name from that supplier name some supplier you can buy that item but you cannot buy from supplier list in case it is restricted how i will show you go to item organization item i have here all the items right let me take this site i want to take first item copy this now so we are at which organization ncd okay for ncd okay let me see now for ncd is the organization i am going to select for this organization for set an item and that item i have taken the copy of the item name now i'm, go I'm going to search now whether that item is restricted to approved supplier list or not paste it find it now i got the item system is too slow because somebody is working in the back end okay now in the purchasing tab have you seen here use approved supplier this is what if you enable this you cannot buy this item from any supplier as approved supplier list we are adding some, some suppliers only from those suppliers only you can buy this item that is the meaning of this okay close this Okay, now switching to supply base, then we go for approved supply list and let us open approved supply list. So is there any approved supply list for so and so item or if you want to find, you can find for, for which item you are searching. And I want suppliers for certain item. Let us say we have different items. Let me take this item I am taking. Okay. Now I have to search. Fine. For this item, see in the bottom line you have supplier name. This item should be but from this side this supplier only status you are selecting here in case that supplier is a new supplier you can change it to new also debad means you are no more buying from this supplier so in case supplier has cheated you so he is not sending good material so i want to stop them that's it debad you just debad so it's approved but the supplier is going to have different attributes here attributes are indicating how we are going to procure means source documents if you see i told you what are the source documents i told you three types blanket contract quotation it is very important question don't forget then see your source document through you are having blanket agreement or purchase agreement i'm going to tell you what is blanket and all those things here we have consent from supplier we have all these check boxes you know it defines consentment means you are not the owner ownership lying with supplier okay consentment is nothing but ownership transfer 
like you are as long as the item is existing in the warehouse you are responsible once item has gone from warehouse out of warehouse then the responsibility or ownership transfers to customer so that is what risk lying with whom that's what consignment okay see here approved suppliers this is what and after that i have for approved suppliers after that we have sourcing rules i'm going to show you sourcing rules from this i have these many sourcing rules let me take one okay f11 give the name control f11 okay this sourcing rule from so and so date shipping organization buy from see it is very important again transfer from this is what in case items are manufactured in our organization only and our organization is at some other location then you can select transfer from and you can select your organization from which organization you want to transfer that item to your location if it is manufactured at a certain plant, our plant itself, but plant is existing somewhere, then you can suggest to the system whenever there is a requirement of this item, don't buy it because our manufacturing unit itself is manufacturing this item. First, you inform to the our company to our company to manufacture this item. Buy from means supplier. Simply buy from. That's what you are selecting here. Buy from. This is the supplier name okay you can raise the question always should i buy from one supplier if you give 100 percent allocation that means you have to buy from only one supplier in case you are selecting like 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent then four suppliers can be selected if you have the requirement of 100 items 100 items will not be procured from only one supplier instead first supplier 25 percent next supplier 25 percent all together 100 will be received from four different suppliers and among in case here equally you distribute sometimes what happens you have two suppliers okay but you have the agency okay one supplier who is saying who is selling normal items but another supplier who is selling good quality but item is same okay now what happens i give the priority i give the importance to the best supplier so I give the rank 1 see you can see here rank 1 allocation can be 75 percent to the best supplier I give the allocation percent more and then in case you have multiple if it is one then you have to enter 100 percent there's no other goals now second line it talks about another supplier then rank 2 rank 3 rank 4 fulfillment percentage like allocation percentage from each supplier how much you are going to buy that's percentage you have to enter here sourcing rule name effective then supplier allocation and rank then you go for assignment set it is very important assignment set here we are going to call all the items okay we are going to select the organizations and all the items are going to be selected here if you take one item let me take this is the organization and this item belonging to this organization then sourcing rule here see the same form will will be open from here see the same form we discussed earlier sourcing rule to be procured from this supplier having a rank one with 100 percent allocation When you have this intact, that means you should have approved supply list. Then you should have sourcing rules. Then bill of distributions. What is bill of distributions? It is simple. This is the what? Sourcing rule and bill of distributions. This is what? Okay. So here, this is what the link you are going to form for advanced purchase. So then assign sourcing rules. We are going to have assignment set that's what we have seen right whether you define from here or you are going from this button assignments are both are same okay 
this is what sourcing rule sourcing rule is very important when you go for auto sourcing auto sourcing the sourcing documents are three what are those it's blanket and contract then quotation you have these documents as sourcing documents in case you want automatic sourcing based on the items whether you will be having safety stock you will be having minimum and maximum quantity system always checks the inventory is below the minimum level yes then purchase it when system purchasing system also suggests as per the rules only it won't buy from another supplier who is no unknown to you so this is what sourcing rule. that's it for today you have any doubts